Attorneys for condemned killer Joseph Wood and the ACLU of Arizona called it a botched execution. The victim's family lashed out at those concerned over Wood's final hours. He smiled and laughed at us and then went to sleep. So all you people that think that these drugs are bad, well, the hell with you guys. It took nearly two hours for Wood to die and 15 doses. All the while, Arizona Department of Corrections Director Charles Rhyme was adamant it wasn't botched. Arizona Republic reporter Michael Kiefer witnessed the execution and characterized it this way. It was a clear gasp, you know, and it just sort of looked like a fish opening and closing his mouth. Wood was gasping for more than an hour and there was an emergency hearing, with attorneys for Wood trying aimlessly to get corrections officials to halt the execution and resuscitate him. This led to an independent review. The report found it was not botched, concluding that at all times following the administration of the execution protocol, the inmate was fully sedated, was totally unresponsive to stimuli, and as a result, did not suffer. The Pima County Medical Examiner is cited as reporting that the breathing pattern exhibited by the inmate prior to his death is a normal bodily response to dying, even in someone highly sedated. However, the review recommended Arizona scrap the lethal injection protocol used in the wood execution, and that means DOC will no longer use the two-drug combination of midazolam and hydromorphone, and will instead rely on a three-drug cocktail that includes midazolam.